in the warehouse. So maybe that won't happen to us again because that was abrupt. Tech challenges. Abrupt. But the mics are working and the um, it didn't give me a warning. It just, we were still talking. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, oh, I thought it was acting up just then. I'm trying to keep up with it on Shannon's too, but I thought it was acting up just then, but it didn't. So are we actually live? We're live. Perfect. So we're having a sale. Don't tell my May. <laughs> we're starting over fresh. I don't know how we're going to go back and recap all that. But anyway, uh, we're having a sale, 20% off. It's spring break, so we want to give you guys a break on prices. So 20% off. Everything in the store with the normal exceptions. So no um, mente, nah, wrong. No. Misty's well, is what, what you're trying to say. No Misty's. Misty's won't be on sale. Books won't Books. be on sale. Clubs won't be on sale. Classes won't be on sale. Is that everything? I think so. But let's walk around in here and see how it does. What you think? Yeah. Or are you going to go with me? Yeah. All right. So since you're right here, do you want to just start with the impressive? I'm moving so slow, like I'm so sick of heck. <laughs> well, I mean, it just seems like one thing after another, doesn't it? Where do you want to start? You want to start with the impressible since we're right here? We can. So this one is. Well, those are the minis, right? And they are 20% off. I feel like I got that blur again. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm going to give this game up. I'm too old for this game. I'm too old for this game. I need to hire me a young kid that does, all he does is go, you're live, Maymay. May. That's what I want. <laughs> all right, look, this is the Maymay May Made It logo mini impressible. Okay. And you guys, we have full video showing you how these work. But these you work with your, with your Misty, and it helps you get even pressure when you're stamping. And we have two of this one. Oh, the pick is clear. It must have just been me. We have two of this one, and remember, this is the mini. Will you get a regular and let's show the difference? We'll put them side by side. So if you'll put that one in this area, it's perfect. There's a full, okay, and this is good because this is the bigger logo or the bigger one logoed. So there's that one. And then, so now you can see the big one versus the small one. And the big one has a pad like this, and the small one has a pad like that. So there's the mini, so there's that one. You wanna put that one back over there for me? And these, they're all upside down. They're upside down. Because we, have numbers on. this is how we find them when you order them is by their number. And so when I show you, I'll show you their number so you'll know which one to order too. Love this one. If you have a dainty hand, this, my mother would have loved this because she had such tiny little hands. This would be a good one for dainty hands. Now I got big old hands. Look, I can hide it. <laughs> I can cover it up. Um, but this one is mini 25. Isn't it cute? 20% off today. I can't believe these two little angel ones. I don't know here. why they're so Maybe this it's one just because of the way it fits your hand, but. Just kind of grab them wings. You know what? It's the mini number 20, by the way. Show it again because I didn't see it. I was showing this one. The little angel. I want to do an impressible craftique, just impressibles. I feel like we can show them better if we could show them one at a time. Yeah. Wouldn't y'all want to do that? I think that would be a fun thing to do. Anybody up for that? Y'all let me know if y'all would like that. We could we could still do them at 20% off in the craftique, and then um, we could literally show every single one individually if y'all want to see it. Tell us what you think. I think it'd be fun. I don't want to do another one on Facebook, though, because guess what it did? It got cut off just like that one did. There's another logo, one different bottle. See how it, it's got that little um, lip there. Another logo one. Oh, this is the same the same shape. This one is logoed. See that one? And it's shaped like that. Love it. This one, so fancy. This is for my fancy crafters. Look how cute. I Love this. You know your Aunt Anne collected this. Mm -hmm. It looks like a dress. It does look like a dress. It needs a bow right there, doesn't it? It looks like it's so cute. This one is um, Logo Buffalo 2. And then there's some more. i tell you what I'll do if you want to just start flipping so we can get down here quicker. Okay. That's pretty much all the logos. This one's etched. Oh, I didn't show the number. Logo Buffalo 1. All right, go to the next one. All right, so then we have the gray number 11. And it's kind of... Cone shaped, I guess, is the right word, maybe. I have to touch them. <laughs> it's a thing. I have to smell paper and touch impressibles. This is gray number eight. And this is really cool. Oh, I like Got that. Got a nice handle where you can really get a hold of it. Um, someone asked, are the impressibles all glass? They are. Yeah. They are. Gray number nine. I'll take it, that was gonna be yours? No, 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 it was in the picture away. Okay. I like that one. Yeah. Faceted. That's a word you would think of, isn't it? It's faceted. Gray number seven. 
Yep, love it. The gray is pretty. Show mm -hmm. the gray. Mm. Ooh. How can I do Let it? Let me back up so Does I can. Does that work? Yeah, can you can see, you see it, it like that? Mm -hmm. Will you put this one back now too so we don't forget? Thank you. Next. Then I have, I don't have many white. Wait, we're in I trouble, have, Amber. Here, we're in trouble. Just one white, white number six. Well, that one's really cool. It looks like a rose. It looks I guess like a it tulip. Is a rose. A tulip, maybe? Well, yeah. I mean, I like tulips, so that's what. Wait, let me see that. I haven't seen that one. Tulips are my favorite flower. I love this one. I may have to get this one myself. If somebody doesn't get it. You probably won't be able to after this. I don't know. I love this one. This is really pretty. And I think I. It is a tulip, isn't it? I haven't even noticed it. I said it. a rose, so. Well, flower. Then we have peach. Peach color. Peach number 12. These are Chilton County Impressibles because right. they're peaches. I like Isn't that, that cool? Because you can grip it kind of low or you can grip it high. So sit it there and move your hand away so they can see it, the whole thing. Boy, fix. There we go. Good. Peach number nine. This sounds like Mambo number five. <laughs> Mambo number five. That one's cool. Yeah. I think they're all cool. I tell you what, let's don't do every one because they do like, some people like the idea of the craft tea. Did you see very many people wanting to do that? Uh, yes, I see. Okay, so we have peach color, we have green, of several different styles in the green, several different styles in royal blue, um, a couple of styles in orange, for our people that like orange. Where are you going? Hey, is it still online and in person? It is both. If you're coming, it ends Monday. Okay. Several choices in red. We have some minis that are black. Someone asked what they're used for. Do you want to tell them? Um, want me to tell them or you tell them? Well, it, it's it's designed basically for you to use with your MISTI or any other type of stamping tool. It allows you to get even pressure on the stamp when you're trying to stamp with it. Um, you know, sometimes, if you like me especially, when I'm pressing down, I press down harder in different places with my hand. This lets you do it evenly so you get a nice, clean stamp image that was pretty good Vinny, for a non-crafter so y'all this guy how long you been working for me then since 16 2016 so You've this learned is my a lot. sixth or seventh year you know a lot for somebody that knows nothing that was pretty good explanation oh more minis we have several lots more minis there most of these are black in color well, that one's cool looking <gasps> that is cool Mini number four. All those little cuties that, um, I don't see them. There were some little cuties, but they're not in here. For you drinking fans. <laughs> you can't drink your, out of them. They're glued down. Mini number eight, shot glass. Next. <laughs> love this one. We have one. an assortment of blacks. This one's pretty cool. I love that one. It's got a pretty unique design. We, uh, they say we can't call you a non-crafter anymore. Yeah, you can. Hey, I watch a, a YouTube channel called Sorted Food, and they have like what they call normals and chefs, and their normals have been doing it so long that they're they're really really good at what they do, and that's the argument all the time: is can we still call them normals, or are they chefs now because they've been doing it so long? Yeah, I want to tell you this is pink number four. It is very pretty, but it is very heavy. I know, but that's a bonus, you know. Lets you you don't have to press as hard. I love that good pressure. Feel that one. That's very heavy. I love it because um, it is extremely heavy. I love it because you put it down and you just kind of barely have to press it. And the thing about it is, you're not having to lift them like way up. You just lift them onto your misty. But it is heavy. It is heavy. But it's very pretty. Pink number four. Let's do this. There we go. All right. All right. Next. All right. The bins. All right. Let's go over here. Oh, Brenda saw this for the first time the other day and was like. She didn't even know we had it, so maybe somebody else doesn't know. This is from Dress My Craft. This is an embossing folder. Let me see if it has a name. I don't think they name theirs at Dress My Craft. It doesn't, but it's, what do we have it called, I wonder? Clocks? Time? Vintage Clock Embossing Folder. Oh, how about that big title right there that says Vintage Clock Embossing Folder? I'm telling y'all. Could be that. I'm telling y'all, I'm turning in my notice. No, I'm turning in my no, notice. No. I am done. We need, a, we need our paper <laughs> shipment to come in pretty bad, don't we? <laughs> is this available? This one? I don't know. This little chef. It is little chef. I'm surprised <laughs> I didn't read it. I just wow. happened to know what it was. <laughs> Look at these. These are Shannon's fave. I need to have, we need a place on the website called Shannon's Faves. Because you have faves that I don't have faves. This is it. 
she doesn't understand why y'all all don't have these postage dies. Yeah, they are my favorite. They, and listen, me too, I love them. You know, we use this for robot gears. Because it makes... It makes I easy mean, work. It's not fancy, fancy. You can, I mean, just run it through and... You, you even use this in your home decor. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. She did. There's another embossing folder. That's another good one. I call that quatrefoil. They call it lattice. Yes, this is the last little chef there is. But it's online? It is. Is one of these available? 20% oh, off. Little chef. One left. Lydia got to see the album this week for the first time. She didn't take it home. I said she could take it if she wanted. She didn't take it, but I'll keep it for her if she wants me to. I love this. It's almost strawberry season in our neighborhood. There's very few left on the shelf. There's like five here. 20% off for this is a really good deal. Yeah, this, when you look at it, you think the, because of the pinks, you think Valentine automatically, but it's not Valentine. Mm -mm, it's strawberry. It's strawberry. It'd be the perfect little girl album paper. Or if you got, we have a strawberry festival. Do you guys have strawberry festivals? It'd be good to make, if you have a, if you have a strawberry farmer in your life or someone who does strawberries, that'd be cool. Do you want to get that over there? Yeah, we'll go around the other side. Okay. Here's more of the postage stamp dies. These two, the oval and the square, I think we use the most. Our gears or in the circle. Than A2. They do get there, yes. There are some that aren't and they do get there. There are some that aren't and they do get there. And then this one is so pretty. This is um, Tidal Wave. And it's all the blues and the greens. Isn't that pretty? Oh, we have Love all it. of the, the, the foam. All the foam is back in stock. Oh my gosh, you can get that 20% off right now. Hang on, there's a really bad glare. There we go. This is the time. Get all three sizes of this. I promise you, you get this and take my word for it, you won't be sad. It's amazing. I love that stuff. It's one of my new favorite products. You want me to go around now? Oh, that's up to you. I just moved out of the way. All right. Over, oh, this. I love this so much. You guys, can you hold that and I can okay. get to it? Okay. So this is the Rouge Cluster Kit. Now what this does is it comes with the pieces for you to assemble these kind of layouts and they're good for folios, they're good for albums if you're a scrapbooker either way. And look at that little kit that comes inside. I can see me using this for all kinds of stuff, not just albums. But you also get the, um, hang on one second. You Sorry. also get that container, flip it around, show them how it works. It's a, um, you know, it's one of 49 and Market's containers. Don't pull it out, you'll never get it back in right here with no hands. You ain't got no hands. There you go. Oh, I thought I had it. But I love that. And then you can use that container later and 20% off is good. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Timothy says she has that when it's beautiful in person. What's that? I didn't even know we had Vintage that on the shelf. Artistry Tranquility. Y'all, the artistry one is so gorgeous. Hey, you guys, you know that Ooh. we're going to... Um, do you guys remember Creativation? Anybody watching it? They, it went away for a little while, and we're going this weekend, and I cannot wait. Oh. I cannot wait. Mente. Oh, is that little one? I love little one. Twenty percent off Mente. Are you kidding me? Those will get I gone. I want to make Noah my ten-year-old baby book. <laughs> he still doesn't have his baby book. He's gonna be like Joe for Joe's birthday. I showed him his quilt I'll on the design on wall. Yeah, you go. On jo for his birthday, I showed him his quilt on the design wall. And now he's like, so when am I getting that? I'm like, I promise I'm going to get it done. When am I getting that? I promise. And every now and then he'll just go visit the design wall. Like I see him go in there and just by look at it. When you need a quilt, Jay. <laughs> by fall, by Christmas, you'll have one. You need a quilt. You ain't going to need one soon. This card stop. This is a good, what we should do is go around and pick all the things that are you should get while they're 20% off. You know what I'm saying? This is one. This is the Express It Blending card stop. If you are learning or like alcohol markers, this is the one. It helps you to blend your marker so well. It feels like silk. Will that work with the... No, that's not the watercolor. Never mind. It's no. Okay. No. Not watercolor. It's perfect, though. It's so smooth and silky. Buy now for your kids to make for Father's Day. Brilliant, Shannon. This... Well, there's only three of them. There's only three. Three dads three are... Three people. No, actually, look. You can make eight cards. So three times twenty, three times eight is 24. Yeah, you were on the I right did it. Track. So 24 people can get a good Father's Day card right here. Well, you can buy it and share it with your Sunday school kids. Oh, right. let the Sunday school kids use it. In the, that would be a good idea. And you don't yeah, have to come up with a craft for next Sunday. Y'all can thank Shannon for that. She just off. did it for you. Well, I don't have to do it next Sunday because Father's Day is still a little ways off. But I, that's, that is a, my mother would have loved that. She was always looking, she wanted to make cards, but didn't really know how. I never thought about that would be perfect for her yeah, Sunday school classes. That's a, that's a good idea. All right, paper. This is one of those things. While it's 20% off, get your colors. This is PA. We got it back. 
I'm so excited to have it back. So there's the colors. There's a little bit of cardabelle on the other side too. So you're seeing a little bit of both. Um, this is, this is vellum. Yep. Big packs of vellum. Good time to use that 20% off. The stuff that's, I call it boring, but you need it. You know what I'm talking about? That you want to buy the pretty paper packs, but you it's need it. It's not boring. It's just good. It's, you need it. You the need stuff it. I lean on most is my solids. That's why everything's a solid for me. That is great. We just got those in. The mega pad. <clears throat> And I know it says fall, but look how rich those colors are. I mean, you don't have to use it just for fall. I don't use I mean, it just for fall. It's perfect for quilt making. I mean, some of the stuff like the leaves and stuff like that, you may not want to use right now, but that's why it's a mega pad. Yeah, it's incredible. Somebody asked if that was sage. I'm not saying this this is sage, and I will tell you this, it looks good on camera. It looks accurate. They call it parrot. They call it parrot, mm -hmm. but it looks accurate. I don't it's think green. it's pretty. It's Shannon kind is avocado -y. Shannon's a green person, so. But the bright avocado, not the dull of avocado. These are the sewn or stitched on the edges little um, memory books, and they're for the leather bound cases that I think are on their way. I'm not sure. I think we've ordered those, but they're for those. But they're also good standalone. You can decorate them and use them. I, we had some people send us some decorated. That's why we grabbed them because they were cute little notebooks. There's only two left. Yeah. But look how good they match this paper. There's only two of these left, and they're chipboard words. I'm going to show the back so you can see what they say. You can make so many cards with just the words. Have y'all seen? Okay, there's a technique I just saw yesterday where they take a die. I may have to just show you. But they use one big word on the front. The die does the work. The embossing in the background does the work. And Secrets. one big word. Beautiful. Wow. Dots and stripes. 20% off. That's the time. Now's the time. Awesome. Also, this is now the time. These kits like this, when you have to, when you don't want to, like I know this feels boring, but it's very useful. This is the um, A2, oh, I got a cough. <coughs> Sorry guys, A2 cards and envelopes. And it's now time to do this one, it's 20% off. Get your slimline envelopes. These are the classic slimline size. The boring stuff. You need a new cutting map? Is that rain? No. I've had all the rain I can take, y'all. A2 cutting, I mean A2. Cutting mats, these are fantastic, and it's a good time to get this at 20% off. This is the one I carry with me to sewing. I like this one for that. More um, card kits. This paper pack, I don't understand what the deal is with this one. This is so cute. Yeah. So cute. Homemade. So cute. <gasps> is this 20% off? Is this, is it, I don't babe? Know. There's one left. The revolution. It's 20% off. We didn't say it wasn't. We didn't say it wasn't. We so. didn't say it wasn't, and there's one left. Somebody grab that. That guy's good. We like it. We're liking it. All right, let's go find some fun stuff. Paper. Oh, this is a perfect time for these. They're, they're a little more expensive than you normally want to spend, but I promise you, when you need it, it is perfect to have this in your stash. And there's lots of different varieties of it, too, just not that one. No, it comes in lots of colors. Here's another one here, I think. That one. Oh, look at this. What we did, we should tell them what we did with them. This is the one we're using in, no. um, this is not it? No. Okay. This is very similar to what we're using. She'll show you the one we're using, but look how good the colors are in this. And there's a, this is, the metallic this is called Mermaid, litter. I think. Or Mermaid I'll Lagoon. Really What's this is called, where's the name? Y'all are probably looking at it and I can't find it. And there's another one. So I don't think I have this one. They're all so, so pretty. What I was going to tell y'all is what Shannon and I did is we took a craft keeper or you could take one of those 49 and market envelopes and we opened this pack up and put it all in in its family like that. So when we pull it out, we know they all coordinate. We love that. We're making a mess. We've got to find where these go. They're never going to let us back here again. I'll put them back. Them okay, listen. This paper pad, I've been using it for quilt making because the B-sides that don't really have as much to do with quilting are so cute, but also the scissors. Like I just flip that little page around and then use these. The B-sides of this pack are so cute. That one is Let's Create. There's some more of the um, Cartabella linen. There is, is that Mente? Oh, the 12 by 12 little one is available. It looks like it is. Looks like it. There's quite a few down there. 
I didn't know that. There's that um, antique or the, I call it the rustic paper. No, that's wildflower. That's not the one. That's not the oh, antique. Wildflower. Yeah. Let's see. This was a big deal too. I love this. I use this a lot and it's cute in quilting. We used it in quilting. There's eight men tailors or one. We used this in quilting the other day, not too long ago. And down there, this one, this is the sew one. This is the lawn fawn, what's it called? Uh, what's sewing on? It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I said it's so cute. It's so cute. There's some more of that paper. Y'all <laughs> can't pull me in both directions. Y'all gotta pick a side. This is fun, the Slimline Waterfall. It's a kit, and how many does it make? Uh, it's top, usually in the top right corner, it tells you how many. It just says Slimline three. Cards. Where do I Package includes oh, three cards, so it makes three cards. Isn't that cool? Do it quilt card. You don't have to do any work. Also, you, do many little quilts on the quilt? you could also edit it down and make it a folio. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Where are my country folks at? Fun fun on the farm. Farm. Talk about a quilt. I can't wait to play with that bandana sheet. I love it. Move. Move. Oh, it matches my shoes. Move. Matches my shoes. All right, markers. Good time for markers. Good time for markers. Good time for markers at 20% off. And that paper you showed them. Play with the markers. Yes. Here's some, here's some ephemeras. It's wintry. It's beautiful. I love these. I play with these all the time. None of that looks like winter. Well, the snowflakes. But the rest is just plaid and blues. Oh, any type of boy stuff. Mm -hmm. The good news is, I shouldn't, I'm not going to say it. I was going to say our internet seems to be holding out, but I didn't say it. You didn't say Since it. Since I didn't say it, we'll be fine. There you go. There's my rustic relics paper. <laughs> it's not, it's called flea market. She's probably like, we're not a flea market. You think Missy says that? We are not a flea market. We're an like antique store. Love and this that ribbon. Love oh, look how cute they are together. Oh, how cute. Pretty. That looks like an Easter egg. Uh -huh. That's cute. Hey, if you have a, have have a grandkid or a daughter that that um, likes alcohol marker coloring, that would be cute in an Easter basket. In an Easter basket. That looks like an Easter egg. We need to put together a crafty Easter basket and show people because that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. With a folio and the paper to make it and the markers and everything else. Oh, nice. Cute. All right, I'm just kind of following y'all around. Envelope pocket folio, white. You come with your magnets. That's that's an, that is a folio. You don't need to take a class. You need that and a paper pack and you made a folio. And any of the six by eight paper packs? Work great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. They even give you your borders around the edge. Mm-hmm. Instant, you don't have to even take a class. Hey, this stuff right here, I love this. Again, I just keep thinking stash building. When I get a coupon, I want to stash build. Love those. There's, um, we also have those in black that Shannon just showed. This guy, I don't even know what y'all waiting on. I love the 40, I uh, the one graphic of those 45 ones. Make and I haven't used it yet. This is the Trifold Waterfall album. The waterfall's in the middle. Here you go. See hey, it? Your arm's not long enough. The waterfall's in the middle, and it's got pockets. Your hands are like ice. Ice cubes. Yeah. <laughs> ice cubes. There's that. There's the crystal um, glaze. <gasps> love. We called that the date night album. It's not. It's a tiny. It's an ATC album, but you can do a lot with it. The twine is good for Easter too. We should do a like shopping for an Easter basket. Short. We could do that. We could do that. Well, let's do it. We have a oh, basket. The little punch that would be cute in an Easter basket. What is? Yep. The little, the little circle scallop. punch. Circles. The Easter basket um, stamp set. Well, my leg just got caught. I thought we were stuck down on the bottom for a minute, y'all. <laughs> I thought, well, we'll be here. Y'all walk around. We're staying right here. <laughs> oh, here. Those are the new 49 in the market. Oh, my gosh. They're so good. See, look, you get one of these for every paper pack you buy, okay? Not necessarily your sing your single colors, but those that those family packs, you know what I'm talking I call this a family pack because it's a family of colors. And then you put it in here, and when you need those colors, they're all in the same envelope. And they're so, that's what we do in our room, and they're great. And I love these. Look how they're also, so sturdy. I also use these for our one year folio. I separated everything out by month that mm -hmm. we're using and put them in here. So I didn't. Mix it up with everything else. And I'll tell y'all, we know this because we tried to get them, but the craft keepers have been discontinued. They're not making them again. And didn't we get what we could get? 
And so now we're, that's why we looked for a new one. And I love what 49 and Market is making. Those are fantastic. Good. All right, I'm going to let you go. Can I get in the hole? Sometime we need to start at the punch wall because I feel like we always give out before we really do a good job over there. This is paper accents birch. It's speckled. Oh, it's speckled. It's like a brown speckle though, not not not, not color colors. Mm-hmm. These are all good album papers. That one's speckled too. Mm-hmm. Same one? Different no, one. This one's husk. Oh, husk. This is a lot. That reminds me of my neighbor that I call Husky because I don't know his name. Husky. This is the accessories pack. Yeah, it goes with or all the other for photo. Six, six albums. For the photo play little albums, these yeah. are pieces you can add to. There's a little waterfall. There's tags and pullouts and pockets. It's cute. Oh, my. Tags and pullouts and pockets. Oh, my. I still can't believe we got all these. Oh. Frames and tags. It's your birthday. Are you just shopping? Look at all the cute little frames and tags. Kim wants to know if she can get art glitter glue. Are we shipping art glitter glue yet? Uh, I guess it still depends. I think you'd have to call into order to yeah. let us see if we can ship it. I love this AC card stock, you guys. I love the delivery system of this uh -huh. one. I do too. You, you, this is perforated. You tear this away, okay? It stays in this folder. You put it on your shelf and you can see it from the side. I mean, and I love it. Storage and everything in one pack. I love it. Yeah. I can't get enough. Y'all saw it in my craft room tour. I love it. And we still have a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Folks, ain't, I don't understand. Well, we had a lot. What y'all waiting on? Oh, one of my babes. This is the one that you guys are confused about. This is the one where you put the folios in. It's basically, is this thing getting hot? Is it just me? It's basically a folio holder. Like you, you glue your pre-made folios into it, and then when you open it up, you can flip around while they're inside of there. Design dimensional pieces or mix with our foundation flip folios and waterfall selection for various configurations. Can I go around here and go, let me show y'all something because I love this. Go, go, go. Look at these, these trims. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Look at that Rick Rack. It's so cute and they come on these little wooden spools that when you're done with this, these become another craft project. So cute. Aww. White, green, yellow. Oh, and this color, this is very Shannon color. I gotta show y'all that color. You use this color, or use the other green. I use that. Use that green. Do we have that? I don't think we have that. Beautiful. Did that, that just came in. Look how many are on the shelf. We don't have that. Mosaic gems. We don't have that. We do now. Beautiful. That's mine. That's mine. Okay. These are all my faves. All of them. You can, there's not a punch in this building that I don't love. Honestly, because I'm a punch fan. Somebody says, Meme, there's no reason for you to have all those punches if you have a cricket. And I have a cricket and a scan and cut and a joy. I have all of that. But when I can walk in, and Shannon will tell you too, when Go I can ahead. walk in my room and go, I need a flower. Let me get my heart punch. Shannon did it the other day. We wanted um, four leaf clovers for um, St. Patrick's Day. She said, got you. Goes back in the back, punches out four hearts, glues them together with a stem. We had four leaf clovers. <laughs> I love it. There's time and a place for everything. Yep. I mean, I mean, I've been working on my, let me say this. I've been working on my joy this morning. I'm doing a project on it right now. But when I need time, when I need to do, do something quick, that punch makes it happen. What's woven that one? Oh, woven. Leather. Um, didn't Lid use that in some of her quilt cards? I think she did. I think she did. Where's this? Okay. There's only one of these right now. It may not be online. You, I might be showing them a placeholder. Y'all, I have not loved a tool in a long time like I love this one I imagined when we started using this on my you know I have that wood table we film Reese on I just could see strings can you put this one on I don't know if it's available or in an order I um it we also have some on the front in the retail store too I'd imagine strings going everywhere y'all it didn't strings did not go anywhere it they it's so good but I'll show you the glue I used it was this little skillet and then hang on I got to get this in here hang on and then these little pellets, amazing. I really did love it. I was shocked how much I loved it. Brenda did too. She was like, this thing's great. Look at all these punches, border punches. If you need a punch, we about got it. Because I'm, I'm mad about them. Amber, you just scared the life out of me. You just took 10 years off my life. You're squatted down there like I thought. Someone's fixing to attack me. <laughs> Look at this. 
This punch is three and one, just so y'all know. This is three and one. So get three tags in okay. one punch. And there's more than just that one. There's okay. multiples of that. There's that one. There's this one. One punch, three tags. The skillet one. Okay. These, are there more? Is that there? These are photo corners. So you can punch this and then slide the photo under it and it'll hold it in place. There's multiple kinds of those too. Look at this one. If you need little banners, look at that. Three in one punch. You get all three of those shapes in one punch. So many punches. This nested hearts. These guys nest inside of each other. We have nested hearts and also nested stars. What a bargain. I think we have another nested set. The hexagon. I don't know why y'all don't have these. If you don't have the hexagon, you're missing out. It's so fun. You can do a lot with it. The big heart. Very useful. The floor. I don't think I have this one. I need this one in my room. I don't think I have that. Hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the gorgeousness of this embossing folder. This one may not be available. We showed this one. This may be in orders. I don't know. But this one is called Peony Blooms. Look at the gorgeousness. And it's a six by six embossing folder, y'all. It's absolutely stunning. I can't wait to play with that one. Um, do you need a rotary cutter? I have used my rotary constantly. And then how about this one right here? Your embossing tools. Anybody got their heat tools? Their heat embossing tool? Matter of fact, if you don't have a heat embossing tool and you're taking my class in May at Craft Acropolis, you, better get one. you might want to grab one while they're on sale if you don't have one because we will be using one in the class. You, I mean, I will have one for you to borrow if you don't have one, but it's good to have your own. <clears throat> Boss, you are going to want a gun right yeah. on sale. You're going to want one. Um, and if you have not signed up for Craft Acropolis, go to maymayevents.com and grab your seat at Craft Acropolis. It's going to be super fun. Lots of lots of information. I'll be doing a standalone video about that. That'll be going up soon. Look at these. I know some people are watching this like, oh, another warehouse walkthrough. I love warehouse walkthroughs. There's sewing companies I watch that do warehouse walkthroughs, and they're my favorite. Because I forget about stuff that's available, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, and it, I don't know. It just makes it different when you see it in, in real wall. Portable trimmers. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Shapes. These are so cute to do little um, shaker cards with. They're so cute. I need to do a video on those. I think I have one video on those. <gasps> the trims. These are so amazing. They're beautiful. He nailed those. Those are so pretty, those little velvet trims. That's what I used on my bunny in my shadow box i did i kind of went to it finger blades those have been popular um your blending tools extra blades this is time to get extra blades just stock up just have them you know um this is the can you answer brenda she she i think she's at a store asking us a question um dress my craft trimmers this is shannon's fave and then there's color pencils we have more color pencils right here i love this set of color pencils isn't that funny? I love a walkthrough. That's probably all of those we have right now, aren't they? Well, there's those two, and then there's two more right there because he has four sets out. So there's the um, the watercolor pencils. Those were super fun the other day. Wordies, if you don't know what wordies are, I'll have to show you, but they're super cool. Basically, these are printed sentiment, sentiments that you can cut apart and then put on cards without having to stamp. So if maybe if you're traveling and can't take everything, but you want to make cards, this would be good for that, you know? Yeah. I'm thinking about traveling because we're fixing to travel for the first time for me in like ages. I haven't traveled in a long time. <laughs> so I'm excited. I've been thinking about packing. Okay, inks. They're hard to see in here. I'll take you. Should we try the other store again? Where did he go? Should we try the other store again? He walked off. I was asking a question. I don't know. And here's inks, Versaclairs. We may try over there in a minute. I think they can see them better on the other store, don't you think? Well, if you do that, that's good. She laid. Love these. Purple Delight. Woohoo! I love the green rainforest. Twilight. Uh, summertime is upside down. Some, some, summertime. We're getting there, and then we're going to go, oh my gosh, it's hot. Nocturne. Is it hot? 
when summertime gets here, it'll oh, be hot. I didn't know. I thought you were getting there with the inks. Morning, mist. <clears throat> I can't get the glare off of that one. I lit. There it is. Morning, mist. That's the one I just used in the baby one on the envelope. You were asking They're what also color. Pretty paradise. He left. No, Bean is not here today. Bean's at home. We've decided when Joe is home and off work, we leave Bean because Joe likes hanging out with her, and then we bring Bean whenever he's not at home, so it Fine. works out. We're out of glamorous. Sorry, we can't be glamorous today. Fallen leaves. It's a pretty dark, dark brown. Cheerful. A corn. Do you see a corn a anywhere? A corn. Oh, it's up a top. A corn. <laughs> Somebody said, what about a corn? <laughs> Here's a corn. There's a corn. What color Versafine would you use for no line coloring? Here's what I would tell you. I would choose the color Morning Mist, but I would second generation stamp it. I wouldn't ink it up and go straight to the page. I would, is your arm tired? Me too, we may have to trade spots in a minute. Um, I would ink my stamp, stamp it on a scrap page, or listen, not even a scrap page, listen. Stamp it on a piece that you can cut out for later, right? Save it for later. And then second generation it on your actual paper. Because even though Morning Mist is a pale gray, it's still pigmented because it's a pigment ink. So it still picks up. <gasps> morning Mist. Morning Mist. Oh, we have it in two places. Oh, it got in the wrong spot. Make sure all those aren't Morning Mist. It goes right here, babe. Thank you. Make sure those. Yep. Pine okay. cone. Pine cone. Pine cone. Pine cone. Pine cone. Chianti. Are you too short for this part? Tommy Pink. And we're pretty tall. Those are up there, aren't they? Shannon, how tall uh, are you? Wait, um, don't say, don't say. Y'all guess how tall me and Shannon are. See if you know, because it's so funny. You know the other day we met breeze. somebody from we'd only known on video, and we're yeah. like, wow, they're not at all what we expected. You're short. How tall do y'all think we are? Say in the comments. A corn. A corn. I already showed y'all a corn. <sighs> Monarch. I mean, I may have to, I'm trying to do some tip shorts, too. I think those will be fun. So maybe I'll save oh, it for that. All right, Hillary thinks five four. Tell us who do you think we're the same height too? If you think we're different, give us two heights, and we'll see who's. Let's see. Can we do a prize for the person who gets the closest? I don't know if we could because I because a lot of people probably will. Yeah. Are we the same height? Stand next to me. Why don't we both stand up, like poke our chest out, and stand up stand perfectly straight? I think you're taller. Look at my eyes. Stand up. You're a little taller, aren't you? How tall? Are you? Um. Without saying. Mm hmm. What are you? Oh. oh, don't say. They wrong. Yeah. Well, I could have shrunk. I'm old. Oh, true. <laughs> All right. May May 5'5", five, five, Shannon 5'7". Five, close. That's close. Yeah. Ish. 5'6 um. <laughs> and 5'7". May May 5'5". Five, five. That's so cute. If you're buying a heat embossing gun, buy. Some embossing, embossing ink. ink. There's that one and also Versafine. All right, y'all are all guessing. So I'm, I have always been almost 5'7", like 5'6 and 3 quarters, and I've always claimed the 3 quarters, right? But Shannon says she is 5'. They've told me 5'6 and a half. 5'6 and a half. I think I'm shorter than Shannon, so I think I've shrunk. Or my, they could be measuring me wrong. Ooh, Kristen thinks you're 5'8". Woohoo, well, hey, thanks. Guess how, guess how tall her husband is. My husband is 6'1", we think. 6'6'1". Six, six, Josh is 6'5". <laughs> And then we have another son who's six five. But guess how tall Shannon's husband is? That's a good. That's a good trivia question. I feel very. Short I don't know that they've ever met Blake. Yeah, I don't know. What? I don't think he's ever really been able to come to an event or anything, has he? Uh, he's come, but they might not know. Yeah. Well, All right. Six two. Isn't he? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. He's I'm not six two. two. He is taller than that. He must have wears his boots. He's taller than 6'2". We need to get a measuring tape. He's a little taller than I am. He's tall. I thought he was Josh's height. That's not focusing because Vinny's behind it. Hang on. Come down to his shirt. It, you know, cameras like faces. There we go. The Memento dual marker. Y'all want it? It's a good one. There's Five not many. Five foot two and eyes of blue. That's what uh, they said. Five foot six two. Five Lisa two guessed 6'2". I'm not 5'2". I wouldn't have said he was 6'2". No. Kind of I'm giving her credit ahead of time. Were you at the meeting? I wasn't at the meeting. Was he at the parade? He was at the parade. <gasps> was at the parade. He was at the parade. Y'all would have seen him. He was driving the truck. truck driver, so you didn't get to see him standing. All right, come right here. This is good. Also, Scotty, 20% off. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. Can you hold on to him? Ooh, 20% off. A good time to grab multiples of that. 
Also, we just restocked, so there's a bunch if y'all want to grab those. The, not, the best pencil sharpener. Not a bunch of the large magnets. It's on order. This pencil sharpener is not for children. That's the one Addie said, Grams, this is not for children. Not for children. <laughs> no, you need the three pack. What are, what size are those nibs? Eight. Those are eight. So that's in between the five and the ten. That's a good one. Hold on, four and eight. Four and eight. Oh, good. There's a finer four tip. Millimeter and an eight millimeter. Yep, that's what it says. I've not had a finer tip. I'm, I'm going to have to get that. Did we say that the my, 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 get tumblers are on sale? No, we haven't got there. Oh, cheers. So cute. What's in here? I just saw Jasmine get one. <gasps> Snips. So. Snips. Snips. Hey, are the new cutter, not the new, but the Kirby's that are new to us in here, are they somewhere? I think those are out because I know I just ordered some more. The, um, These are great. Pro cuts. Yeah. Tonic. How about Mod Podge? How many of y'all been watching my friends Rustic and Modge and how they're, and she says Mod Podge too. Mod Podge. She does. Modge. Have y'all been watching? Because listen, they're using the company they represent called, who is it? Um, Dixie Bell. They do Dixie Bell paint and they use this Mod Podge with their, um, what's it called? Rice paper, their rice paper, decoupage paper. It's beautiful. Uh, yellow tape. Yellow tape. The big yellow tape. Well, not the big, big, but bigger. Bigger. It's like oh, there's the small 49 and market storage ones too. Not many of those left, but there's the small ones for your six by eight. It's also good if you're doing a folio and you want to put all the pieces into it, you know, if you want to hold yes, on to them, it's good for nice. that. Uh, let's see. Down here is E6000. Everybody needs some E6000 in your stash. What is that white? I don't have that. What is that? <gasps> That's the cream version. Of That's the... right. And we didn't get to play with ours, did we? No. Jasmine stole it. There's only know? one left? Possibly. We need to get that. We need to get that. Did I get to play with one of those? Why do I feel like I did? You opened it. But I didn't get to create with it? No. Mm. I don't think so. Mm. I want to. Hey, let's do this. Let's do my faves. Wobblies, got to have them. Weeble wobble, but you don't fall down. Got to have them. That, this That's is, a souffle. It's a souffle pen, and it's fine. It's good. I don't tend to use it a whole lot, but it's good. If you like that kind of puffy ink, yes. Buy them. Get this. This and the pencil sharpener. This you need. That's a good um, Easter basket uh -huh. if you do color pencils. Yeah. If you're going to do an Easter basket with color pencils, get them these and add that pencil sharpener. You won't be sad. This... A definite 20% offer. Definite. Oh, gosh, yes. But don't buy them all because I need more. <laughs> oh, the sparkle pen. The Stardust pen's also great for Easter basket. I can't wait to do the Easter basket thing. That's a good uh -huh. idea. We need to do that. Ugh. If you have a Cricut, you need multiples of this. This is the Zig 2 way in the one-inch nib. This is what I used to restick my mats. Nothing better. You don't have to tape anything off and spray any of that toxic stuff in your room. It's just this, and it's fantastic. I do have a video showing you how to do it. <gasps> Mono sand erasers. Multiples. You need multiples of those. Let me look around. Twizers. Yes. Grab those. The other twizers. Those are the, the ergonomic ones, I think is how they say it. And I talked about these the other day. Full sheets of adhesive, and this would be so good for quilting with your scraps. Put them on there, cut them down, make them card fronts. D-rings and book rings. Book rings, book rings. D-rings, D-rings. Um, if you need a brown pen. Brown. How about this pretty pink for Easter? Oh, y'all, this. The little green. You don't need Gamsol with those with those pencils. Gamsol is used with like a stub. I forget what they call that thing. But those are, I've used them in a video for you guys before. They have almost like a clear pencil, like a clear. Um, they blend the colors together and like smooth them out. It's almost like wax. Yeah. It's, it's like, not because it doesn't leave a waxy residue. When you color with a colored pencil and it kind of leaves the line, the, that blender like smooths it out. And it just, it's so pretty. Another thing, glue dots. I'll go yeah, up here to show yeah. you. Every size, love having these in my stash. I have I have one of every size on my desk, so I always have them. That's a good thing to get right now. Hey. Oh, sticky tape, good thing hey. to get with 20% off. Ribbon, there's ribbon over here. Baker's twine is also good. Ribbon and Baker's twine. Bone folders. Bling, bone folders, another good one. There's bling in there. One ouch. And stamp sets. Voila. 
Oh, we didn't even talk about home decor, Shannon. Let me show y'all real quick some home decor. Right over here. Should I go in the front room for home decor? Probably. It is prettier, and it's also easier to see, I think. Let's go this way. Y'all get to come from behind the scenes. Oh, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, <gasps> Are those? Oh, we never have those in stock. <laughs> They're always sold out. Did those just come in? Probably. Uh, can I get another pack, please? Yep. Okay, because they keep, you know, you always need them. They kind of walk sometimes. Because we all use them. Oh, here's the cups you were talking about. You want to show the cup? Well, you can't really see them like that. You want to show, show out? Them out there. Well, they're over there on the other side, and I'm scared of tech. Aren't there some right here? Uh-uh, though we moved them. Oh. Can you just open one? Yeah. I'm scared of tech oh, over Shannon there. We've done too much work for it to go. Goodbye. Oh, the green. This is the one Shannon has. Look on the website to see all the colors. These are 20% off right now. Look how pretty. Look, I say that. Look how pretty. It's got my face on it. Of course I would say that, right? Oh, look mm -hmm. how pretty it's green. If you turn it around, it's pretty pretty. Turn it around. Ooh, that's beautiful. <laughs> And the oh yeah the clacky goodies hold on a second you guys so when you place your order if you would like one of these add i don't know how much these are i don't know the prices but you can add this to your order and we'll sign the backs for you if you um want. if you want us to we don't have to but you'll i can't tell you many times jasmine will come around and go with a marker and go can you sign this can you sign this we signed these for folks clack makes these at the clack shack and they're in the store we also have them in cedar. Listen, if nothing else, you can buy these cedar ones and hang them in your closet, you know? <laughs> Keep the bugs away. I have to smell them every time I get one. Oh, that cedar smells so good. And by the way, this cedar, he actually did on his um, sawmill. Yes. It was a tree that he did. This, I don't know if this is local wood. It probably is because he has a sawmill and does his own. But this I do know is local wood. So if you would like one of these and you pick them up, you can tell us that you'd like to get it signed and we will sign them for you. There's some t-shirts, very few. I better not leave that there. There are very few t-shirts available. Here's your, um, this is not yours, but these, <laughs> meaning, I'm going to show you these hanging better. But these are wreath forms and these are cross forms. All right, let me go around here and show you the pretty stuff. Let's go around. Okay. You're coming out the back door. See, you get to see all the ugly, see all the duct tape. But from the front, it's so pretty. You don't see all that stuff. Okay, ribbon, 20% off. That's a good deal to get your ribbon at 20% off. There's not a lot out here because we keep selling out out here and we don't have enough online to pull. So y'all grab what's online. And if you need these that are here, just let us know and we'll get them for you. Oh. The strawberry one. This is all of them? Yeah. Oh, there's none online? No, like they're, all of that should be online. Okay. I don't so, think anything is sold out that we have. It. All right. But if you need multiples and you can't, because I know some of them were pretty low. Oh, are they? Okay. Here's our um, mesh. This is mine and Shannon's favorite mesh. I don't have a wreath to show y'all done because it sold off the door. So we'll have to make another one to show y'all. I do want to make um, a peach wreath. I've got one in mind. And I want to make a strawberry wreath for my house. So that's all coming. I think the pink and the green for the strawberry might be cute. Or either the red and the green because our strawberry ribbon is kind of red. Um, look at the greenery. All this is online, you guys. These are all picks. You want to like pull them out and show them what a pick looks like? This is such a good time to get this stuff while it's on sale. These things are things you'll use all year round. This is one of Shannon's faves. Kind of the, the, the kind of warm color. Isn't that pretty? And then that's a boxwood pick. That one is thyme, I think. It's not a weed. <laughs> Forgive me. Tea leaf. Tea leaf. That's cute. And then... This is the blueberry pig. That's so cute. We have more blueberries too, but I love this. And we have blueberry ribbon. Yeah, somebody asked about the black misty. They should be back real soon. Look at these. This one's so pretty meek. Can we show the leaf? Like, hold it super still. Hang on. She's trying to let me. The pomegranate leaf. Do you see how it's got all the colors? And it feels real. It does It does not feel like plastic or silk. It feels They're real. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Feels like you just touched a whole, an actual bush. Look at this with the blueberries and the lemons. Oops, too close. Back up. Keep Blueberry going. And lemon. Yep. Perfect. You can just lift and I'm, I'm zoomed in enough. Look, lemon and lemon. floral. And then, look at this. I love how we lay it like this. I think this is pretty. How you just see like this would be a wreath. Love that. Magnolia. Love these. Then, 
These are what we used in that last wreath we did. They go so far and they're so affordable. How much are these a sprig? Two ninety nine and twenty percent off per sprig. You can do a whole wreath in those. So affordable. These are beautiful. Y'all be surprised the price of our greenery. Shane and I, I will say this to y'all. Shannon and I curate everything that goes in this room, and we are so picky about price because we don't like to waste money on greenery, but you need it. We're very picky, so you won't find anything crazy priced. These are Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller, yep. Yeah, like those. This is the, the tea. The tea leaf again. And then this one is, what are you called? Green leaf. It's real technical. It's beautiful. Shannon's fave is this guy down here, though. Yes, it's so pretty. This is her absolute fave. It's the brown, but in green, isn't it? It's the same green as that brown spray. one. Isn't it pretty? This is what we used on our... It's what me and Brenda used in our um, project. Uh -huh. Then, let's go here. Let's go to... Let's go to um, tubing. Y'all, tubing is a sleeper product. Everybody, If you make a wreath, you need to add it. You will be surprised how beautiful it is in your wreath. All of the signs, all of this is 20% off. My friend at church told me she bought the, the peach ribbon and the peaches, and she's going to do a bicycle for her mom for Mother's Day. Because oh, they're peach farmers. Isn't that cute? So that's what yeah. she's going to get for her door. I love it. And she was asking how we did this wreath. She's going to make a wreath. I mean, a wreath. How we did this bow. She'll make a bow like this one for it. I think that'll be cute. Easter eggs, 20% off. Y'all need to buy these up. They're so cute. You could do a hunt with these, by the way. You could. Yeah, you could. Boxwood, we already showed you all the greenery. We just have them spread around. There's some Easter ribbon. We've got to make some Easter wreaths. When do we have time, Shannon? Mm -hmm. This cross, we had a customer pick this up, put a bow in the middle with just a little bit of the greenery. It was stunning. Did you see the picture on Facebook? Uh -uh. Stunning. This is perfect. Easy door um, decor. And then we have the round ones and also the bead ones. The bead ones are popular. And then we have the mesh cross. I have a video doing this already on my channel. So if you guys want to see how to do the mesh cross, uh, Timothy can link that wreath, that video for you guys to see. It turned out beautiful, and you can just get whatever mesh is available now. Here's my favorite wall, the signs. I love this wall. I love this wall. That's the one we used in our last video we did, our last wreath video. Oh, I cannot wait to play with these. Look at the strawberry one. That's what I want to so use for my kitchen. That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? It is. Peaches, because y'all know we got strawberries and peaches around here, and blueberries, by the way. We also have blueberry farmers. Here's the peach. Look how pretty this is. Love that. So pretty. <clears throat> All right, let's look here. Books. I don't think these are online. They might be, but I don't think they are. Some, the Bibles are, I know, but I think some of these books might not be. But if you're interested, you can give us a call. And we'll get them for you. Also, Bible covers. This one is stunning. I don't think that's online, is it? I don't think they are. So pretty. And where's that other one? Oh, gosh. This is my very favorite. Look at this one. This Bible cover. So gorgeous. Also, these magnet bookmarks. Look at these. All these are online. Are not online. So, if you're interested in the... No, these may be. I don't think they are, though. I don't think these are online. If you like any of this stuff, you'll have to give us a call for it. Here are some more Bible covers. A lot of people are surprised we have Bible covers, but every time we can get some, we grab them because there's not anybody in my town that really sells them. Yeah. And then some coloring books, little kids' books. Love those. Some um, beautiful leather bookmarks if you need a gift. <gasps> Easter basket. Easter basket. You could do a whole Bible bookmark journal um, cover coloring book that would be beautiful wouldn't it um i'm scared to go over there we yeah. learned our lesson we're not gonna go over there we're not gonna go to the other side i think we've talked it all out i really do i think we've talked as much as we can talk even Vinny quit look he quit he did quit he quit Sorry. <laughs> he's done all right guys i hope that helps you in uh, making your purchases for the sale um i think i'm gonna I think I'm going to film a standalone walking through the, the stamps over there. I think it'd be cool to do that. I think like it. So watch for that. Shannon and I are trying to get some content made before we leave to go out of town. I also have this question. Do y'all want to see anything from our trip from Creativation? And if you do, what do you want to see? Do you want to see vlog style? Like, do you want to see our travels? Or do you want to see, y'all going to say you want to see it all. I already know y'all, right? But, or do you want to see, I don't know how much I can show you at Creativation because they, we're only allowed to show what they let us show. Like, we've been told that. Like, if, if the person says you can, then you can. So, I don't know what I can show y'all there. But 
show y'all everything. I, we haven't traveled in so long, I kind of want to just vlog it, you know, and just show y'all, because I haven't been out of the house. Like, I don't get to go nowhere. Shannon's been out of the house. You've had two vacations, three vacations since mine. Shannon takes her, and I'm proud of her. Everybody should take their vacation. Do it. Well, someone is here. I need to go. Did you hear the doorbell? All right. We love you guys. If you have questions, contact us, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.